let's review some of the sensors we've used so far. The limit switch is a touch sensor, which detects whether the button under its arm has been pressed in. It has a sensor value of 1 if it's pressed, or 0 if it's released. The ultrasonic rangefinder detects distance using sound waves. For the ultrasonic rangefinder to make decisions in the program, we had to set a cutoff or threshold value to define what was too close or too far. Once we set a threshold, seeing whether the sensor value was above or below that cutoff line told the while loop whether it should continue or not. The same was true with the shaft encoders and potentiometer. We set a threshold value to determine how long the driving motor should spin and how high the arm motor should rotate. This is a set of three line tracking sensors. Each contains an infrared LED and an infrared light sensor. The line tracking sensor illuminates the surface with its infrared LED and then measures how much is reflected back to the sensor. Light colored surfaces, like this white table, reflect a large amount of light and produce a low sensor reading. Dark colored surfaces, like this strip of black electrical tape, reflect very little light and produce a high sensor reading. So light is low, and dark is high, but low and high, what do these mean? On the cortex, the sensor gives a light intensity reading of 0 to 4095. But unlike the ultrasonic rangefinder, where the number was in centimeters, the line tracking sensor values are relative only, and do not correspond to any set system of units. In fact, any light source, lamps, sunlight, shadows, even the height of the sensor off the table can affect how much light the line tracking sensor detects. We'll have to take light and dark readings to calculate an appropriate threshold. These values will give us real-world anchors that take into account the colors of surfaces and lighting conditions. In this lesson, you learn what the line tracking sensor is and how it works. In the next lesson, you'll use the Robot C sensor debug window to determine a threshold for your line tracking sensors.